Hello students and welcome to the next lesson in our AS Human Geography course. Today we're going to be looking at designing workplaces for sustainability. Sustainable workplaces. Businesses are trying to reduce their carbon emissions all the time and they can do this in two main ways. They can either educate their employees to limit their energy use and therefore reduce carbon emissions or they can manually cut back their use of resources. We're going to look firstly at the education of employees. The Carbon Trust, which is a charity working with businesses to cut energy use, helped Marks and Spencers to help them educate their employees to reduce their use of energy. They train employees to educate them on energy saving techniques. They run energy saving awareness campaigns in the workplace, such as the use of stickers and posters to remind people to use less energy. And the use of running carpool initiatives, which help people remember to cut back on their use of um, fossil fuels when they're driving their car. They also allow some employees to work from home, so less energy is used by having to travel all the way to work. The company now emits 30% less carbon emissions than in 2002, so you could say that it was a success. Cutting back on energy use. The Carbon Trust also helped Manchester United, a football club, to cut back on the amount of energy their stadium was using. They installed smart electricity meters so that the club could see when they were using enough energy. And they also changed to more efficient light bulbs, originally from the halogen bulbs to the new LED bulbs. They changed to a more efficient air conditioning system, which then used less energy, but just as much uh, benefit was, got, was taken away from the scheme. And also they used new lighting controls to dim the lights when they weren't needed. Since 2006, they've cut their carbon emissions by 18%. Here are some questions on designing workplaces for sustainability. Have a go at answering these on another sheet of paper by pausing the video and hit play whenever you're ready to see the answers. Here are the answers. If you got these right, congratulations. I'd advise you to move on to the next video, which will be on designing transport for sustainability. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.